Tom Bleepin' Brady, new Patriots Hall of Famer, <laughs> soon to be a Hall of Famer in Canton as well. Tom, thanks a lot for being here. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the media as well. How's life treating you so far over here on the uh, good side? I'm not an NFL insider. How do I become an NFL insider? Well, you got to get a great Brady question. To give you the scoops. <laughs> Yeah, you got to drop out of your finance major after one econ class and then 20 years <laughs> later through a lot of newspapers, and radio stations and things, you end up with a show on NFL Network. You're here on behalf of Hertz today. You have a partnership yeah. with them. Tell us about that before we get to everything else. Yeah, I've worked with them for about four years now. I've been a customer for about 24 years now. Uh, I'm always on the move and I'm always using Hertz. And I've been a part of their Let's Go campaign. Uh, there was the Let's Bleep and Go, which really can put that on the air. But uh, we've had a great time with the campaign over the last four years. This one was so much about the customer experience, skipping a line, a fast transition from getting off the airplane, into the lot, driving off the lot, and getting your final destination. Because we're all in a rush, and we love fast, seamless travel, and Hertz does that. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm a big Hertz guy. President circle right here. You ever, you ever been in the president circle there, Hot Shot? What do you think? I love that. <laughs> Keep it up, baby. Keep it up. You know, maybe yeah, you can talk to one yeah. of your insiders and get me in the president circle. That's exactly how it happens <laughs> there. So, you know, when, when, when you come and you rent from Hertz, I mean, you're right. You're past the counter, past all that stuff. You hop right in your car. Is that how it works for you? Are you getting paid for this too, Mike? Jeez. All right. Let's get oh, me a chance. You know. just a value yeah. consumer. This oh. is what Hertz does. They just deliver this experience and people feel like they have ownership. <laughs> that's what we all do. That's what we want in the brands that we associate with. All right, your induction into the Patriots Hall of Fame, Tom Brady Day there in Foxborough. Just tell me what this means to you as somebody who gave two decades of your life to that organization and gave them a lot back. What does this mean to you? Uh, they gave me a lot back. I mean, I, I was here for 20 years, and they were just incredible moments. And I'm sitting here in Boston in a great hotel room overlooking the back bay where I lived for 10 of the 20 years. And my kids were born here. I have saw a bunch of teammates last night, um, got to celebrate, give them all hugs, tell them what they meant to me, and there'll be a lot more of that tonight. So I know RKK has got quite the celebration planned. I think it's just a great for all of us to be together. And when we can share memories and, and you know, all these experiences with these guys that I played with and coaches that I played with and for, and this organization made me the person that I am today and shaped me into the person I am today. And I'm so proud of what we accomplished, but I'm just really the relationships of, that, I've, that I've formed with these incredible men and incredible women um, mean the world to me. And I get a chance to see so many of those people tonight. I don't know if you know this, but they opened practice yesterday for their mini camp yesterday yeah. on Tom Brady Day. Uh, with Jay-Z's public service announcement, which was the song that they would play when you would come out and yell to the crowd, let's go, which then became a Hertz campaign. What's up, Hertz? There's another one for you right there. Uh, so, you know, the celebration of you throughout the day yesterday, when you see the imprint that you've had on the organization and continue to have, what kind of feelings does that inspire for you? I think hopefully we've all had an imprint. And not, you know, again, last night I'm with, Randy Moss and Wes and Julian and Gronk and Matt Light and Logan and Willie and, and Ty um, and all these guys that we all, we all showed what teamwork's all about and what selflessness is all about. We showed what a, what a winning, successful organization. It's really about people. When you come together and you put the individual agendas aside, you say, hey, what can we do for each other? How can we, you know, how can Mike Brable play? linebacker as great as he did, and then come in at tight end and catch 12 touchdowns? How can Troy Brown be one of the greatest receivers in Patriot history and then go play defensive back? How can Julian Edelman be one of the great receivers in NFL history and play defensive back? And how can guys take whatever role that they were given and embrace it and go out there and try to be a champion? And I played with the most incredible men, and I think what I looked around that room last night those men meant the world to me. And there's no finer group of individuals that I've been around in my life. And I've seen a lot of people in my life than the guys that I've played with. They, I loved them. Uh, we have such a deep respect for one another because we've seen each other go through a lot of difficult things, a lot of adversities that we faced and we overcame. And I'm just proud to be associated with all those, all those men, all those women, an incredible organization. RKK was there gave me the most beautiful ring to commemorate last night. And then tonight's going to be another 
really fun night to be a part of uh, this celebration of Foxborough is going to be pretty exciting. Yeah, new quarterback there in Drake, man. I know you got some time around all these rookie quarterbacks in this class, including the number one pick, Caleb Williams. I was curious the moment I saw this, Tom. Caleb Williams on the, the screen on his phone has the background. It says Super Bowls times eight as one of his goals. He wants to take you down in terms of the most Super Bowl rings ever. When you see something like that from a young quarterback, I know, you, again, you spent time with Caleb Williams. You ever pull him aside and just go, do you know how damn hard it is to win one of these things? Like, stop thinking about eight, or do you like the mere chutzpah it takes to come right into the NFL and say, you know what? I want to become the greatest of all time. Well, I mean, everyone's going to find different ways for motivation, and that certainly way that Caleb can find it. A lot of people are going to find different motivations. Um, I found them just the, the ways that I did that were useful to me. I think that there's a lot that goes into winning one, and, and you've got to set your goals high, and I would never tell anyone they can't achieve anything because if people would have told me I couldn't achieve anything, you know, that would have been discouraging, and I don't want people to discourage young athletes one bit. So I think people should always reach for the stars. Um, certainly young quarterbacks in the league, they've got a lot of opportunity, but their career is going to be made by what they choose to do and what the work they put in and the relationships they develop with their teammates and the organizations they can impact. So they should have high goals, but at the same time, they're going to have to work hard to achieve them. And I really look forward to seeing that process unfold. That's, that's really what, where the hard part comes, for sure. Cowboys Browns week one, you'll be in the booth for Fox alongside Kevin Burkhart, uh, my guy who is the 199th pick uh, that became a seven-time Super Bowl champion of announcers. You guys have a lot in common. Uh, but yeah. how have you been preparing for that and, and getting ready for your role as an analyst? Uh, loving, just loving the time, preparing for it, and trying to find a good routine to prepare for it as well. I've reached out to a lot of amazing people that have helped me, that have that have have listen to the questions I've asked, answer them thoughtfully. Um, I, I kind of approach it how I approach everything, try to surround myself with the best people and learn as much as I can. And uh, that's just the way that I did it in football. That's the way I'm going to do it in broadcasting. I've got a lot of things that I've learned through playing football that are going to allow me to hopefully convey really unique things to the listeners every single week. But at the same time, there's going to be a lot of growth that I'm going to have over a period of time too. So Coming out of the box, I want to do well, but I also know that I'm not a finished product and I'm going to make plenty of mistakes, And uh, but I'm going to learn as I go. If Eddie Van Halen judged a guitar playing contest, like he'd probably see a few people who, okay, that guy's really good. I can get into that. The average guy is probably like, man, these guys suck. We see it with Peyton Manning on the Manning cast where when a game's being mismanaged at the end, he's just going like, oh, my God, like, what are you doing? Yeah. How do you go yeah. about – analyzing the game, knowing you've got one standard that Tom Brady's held himself to the entire time, and the reality that 99.9% .9 of the guys are not going to get to that exact standard that you're talking about. That's a great it's a great point, and I'd say that's a point that I have to continue to develop and learn and understand, because I do, and like, a lot like Peyton, I have a very high expectation for how I think the game needs to be played and I, how it needs to be coached, how it needs to, to be officiated. Um, I want to see the game grow. I want to see the game succeed. I want to see it better than ever. And how can I play a role in impacting that? I can give my own opinion. And if people want to listen, great. And if they don't, that's okay. But I only have the best intentions for what I'm about to undertake. And I love the group of teammates that I'm undertaking it with. Just promise me you're going to give us those opinions. Cut it loose, okay? The biggest mistake everybody makes, they get in the booth, they're like, ah, I don't want it. They do what you did for 20-plus years in the NFL, which is never criticize anybody. You got to attack. You got to yeah. go sometimes, Let Tom. If it's bad, say it's bad, all right? I got you. Don't worry, baby. I'm on it. <laughs> Tom, thanks you a lot for taking the time, man. Best of luck in the new role. Enjoy, uh, enjoy Cleveland week one, man. We'll all be watching. Thank you. Next year, you might say, Tom, tone it down, man. You're being a jerk out there. Let these guys no, grow and develop. Never. And no, say, no, 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 more, no. You told more. me you could cut it loose. We want it. This is, this is how you become I, I, the goat of announcers. You got this. Thanks, thanks, fellas. Great to be with you. Thanks, Tom. Thank you.